Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will talk about seven fiber-based networks: FDDI, Sonnet, FTTX, FTTP, FTTH, PON, and AON. FDDI is a token ring-based LAN technology developed in the 1980s. It's similar to the IEEE AO2.5 token ring, but it runs on fiber. Thus, it can extend in range up to more than 100 miles. FDDI consists of primary and secondary ring. Traffic on each ring flows in opposite directions. The primary ring runs in clockwise direction, the secondary ring runs in a counterclockwise direction. On FDDI, a single attachment station SAS is attached to the primary ring, a dual attached station DAS is attached directly to both primary ring and a secondary ring. These stations are concentrators or routers, which are the connecting points to computers or the internet. Here are some key points about FDDI. It's a fiber-based token ring LAN topology. It extends in a range up to 200 kilometers or 120 miles. Offers of a data rate about 100 megabits per second and offers up to 1,000 connections. But it became obsolete due to its cost, complexity, and advent of fast Ethernet. Now let's talk about SONET. SONET stands for Synchronous Optical Networking. SONET is a set of standards that define the race and formats for optical networks. It's used in North America. SDH, or Synchronous Detail Hierarchy, a similar set of standards is used in the rest of the world. SONET defines optical signals and a synchronous frame structure for multiplexed digital traffic. SONET has a dual ring structure. One ring acts as a primary road in a clockwise direction. The second ring acts as a backup, running in a counterclockwise direction. Sonnet multiplexers play an important role. For example, on the transmitting end, it combines and multiplexes different network types such as T1, T3, or DSL to a SONET frame. On the receiving end, it demultiplexes the SONET frame to different network types. And they can easily add or remove connections. Here are some key points about SONET. It's fiber-based, a double ring based van technology, if the primary ring breaks, the standby or secondary ring will take over. It transmits large volume data over long distances. It's from about 52 megabits per second to 200 gigabits per second, depending on OC levels. It uses a synchronous transport signal or S. TS signal method. And a sonnet multiplexer can combine multiple different types of frames into a single huge frame. If FDDI is a fiber-based LAN technology and a sonnet is a fiber-based WAN technology, the next topic FTTX or fiber to the X and its variants would be about fiber-based last mile technology. The last mile refers to the portion of infrastructure that carries telecommunication signals from central office to homes or businesses.
fiber to the X, or FTTX, is a generic term of last mile fiber-based broadband access networks and services. There's many different deployment methods and infrastructures or architectures, such as fiber to the premises, fiber to the home, fiber to the building, fiber to the office, and fiber to the cabinet, and many others. Fiber to the X is the key method to drive to next generation access in a local loop. The diagram shows two examples of fiber to the X. Fiber to the premises and fiber to the home. They use fiber to provide high-speed internet access from a central office directly to residential homes and businesses. In the fiber to the X architecture, Passive Optical Network, or PAR, a set of standards and protocols is implemented to deliver broadband services to the end users. PAR is a shared network with point-to-multipoint topology. It makes use of wavelength division multiplexing, or WDM, technology to increase the bandwidth per fiber. Here are three important pawn components. The OLT, optical line terminal, at the carrier's central office, is a device with multiple optical ports, similar to ports on router. The OLT contains a passive optical splitter that subdivides each port up to 32 end users. The optical splitter is a physical device that requires no electricity. That's why the network is called passive. The ONU, optical network unit, terminates the PAR and it delivers to any users with different types of services, such as internet, telephone, or cable TV. In contrast, Active Optic Network, or AON, uses active, electrically powered devices such as switches to direct the signal to the end users. AON has some advantages, such as covering a longer range than PAM, serving more end users per unit, and so on. However, however AON is less populous than PON because AON is less cost effective and more complex in its installation, operations, and maintenance. Here is a summary of today's lesson. We talk about seven fiber based networks. FDDI is a fiber based LAN topology. Sonnet, or SDH, is a fiber-based WAN technology. Fiber to the X includes many different forms of network architecture, such as FTTP, FTTH. There are last mile solutions to broadband service access distribution to the end users. PAR and AON are two types of standards and the protocols using a fiber to the X architecture. I hope this video is useful. Thank you very much. See you next time.